Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Well, Chef Chris, I'm so delighted to meet you. How are you? I'm wonderful. I mean, the weather is perfect, uh, and I get to talk to you today. So and I thank you. Be I know life is pretty good, and it? it's pretty simple sometimes. Oh yeah. I want my audience to know that live cast irons. This is Chef Chris Stufflefield, and he's calling all you Texas and across the country grill masters. You know, Chef Chris, summer is here, the weather's heating up, the days are getting longer, and the people are headed outside. <laughs> So what do you want to talk about grilling? What what are some of the tips you can give them for hosting the perfect summer grilling party? Because, you know, they're doing it in parking lots at the, uh, the, the stadiums, at home, anywhere they can. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not going to fault anybody for wanting to be outside in the summertime. Um, so anytime I get people around, uh, you know, a hot grill, uh, I think it's important for us to focus on the feast. Um, so the food is top of mind in my, in my book. Uh, I'm not really worried about, like, if the napkins match the, you know, the, the plates and, and what have you. If you've got an epic cook, uh, you know, you got the perfect sear on a steak, that's all anybody's ever going to remember. Um, so some of the things that I like to do, I focus on seasonal produce. Um, you know, I'm in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's beautiful outside. We've got uh, sweet corn right now. This yellow corn is amazing. It's in season. Um, so, you know, I go to the grocery store, I go to the market, uh, and just make sure that I'm focused on, on, on getting fresh or seasonal vegetables. Um, but, uh, but another thing, uh, you know, is you got to make sure your recipe is on point and you've got to make sure that your grill is reliable and it's going to just continue to, uh, to, to be turning out beautiful and epic food every time. So I've got the Lodge Sportsman's Grill here, um, you know, Lodge Cast Iron uh, Grill. It's, it's amazing. Uh, and I'm going to be standing in front of it for my, my whole summer and I couldn't be happier about it. You know, uh, a grill is an investment. What are they supposed to be looking for when they make that investment with the Lodge Cast Iron Grill? That's a great question. Um, so, Valder, the one of the most amazing things about it is this cast iron. It's super durable. Um, you know, it's going to hold up, right? You've got a cast iron skillet, you know, forever. Uh, this grill is the same, right? It's got very similar upkeep and maintenance. Uh, very simple to use. Um, you know, like I said, it's cast iron. It holds on to heat really, really well. Um, so it's going to transfer all that heat into your food, um, creating, you know, an epic cook every time. You get the perfect sear on steaks. Uh, you know, your vegetables are going to be nicely charred, uh, beautifully done every time. Um, it's, it's a fantastic piece of equipment, um, and, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's going to last you forever. So, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I think you should get one totally. Uh, you're not going to, you're not going to, uh, you're not going to fault me for telling you that. No, and I love cast iron in any form it comes in. Okay, so you make this investment in this grill. What kind of recipes that uh, we need to know about? Because everybody doesn't know how to grill, Chef. No, I totally understand that. One of the things I love about this grill is it's super simple. Um, so, you know, uh, my, my son loves hot dogs, and he'll tell you all day long, and you can teach people how to grill with hot dogs. Um, but basically, um, you know, as long as you're not fiddling with the food, um, you know, you get a good preheat on your grill, um, and, and, you know, you're, you're just allowing that grill to come to temperature. Once you put your, your steaks, your, you know, uh, what have you on the grill, it's just going just gonna to create an epic cook. Um, recipes, we've got a char-grilled cheesesteak on our website that's out of this world. It's not overly complicated. Um, you know, super simple steps to follow. It's got a super simple marinade skirt steak we're using. Um, you know, it doesn't take much time, and it makes everybody think that you're a grill master, even if you don't have any experience. Um, another thing that I love to do, uh, and I'm going to be doing this on Father's Day, um, or ba uh, bacon wrapped um, jalapenos. We got jalapeno popper recipe on the website. It's got pineapple and the cream cheese. It's just enough sweet 
just enough savory. We got that salting, smokiness in the bacon and that spice that um, I know I know I love it and I know you guys love it in Texas. Oh, well, you know, we love anything that's called grilled. I mean, it could be cactus. We love it because it's grilled. Finally, give us some important uh, safety tips about cleaning because that's the part I don't like is cleaning to get grilled. But you do have to be careful while you're actually grilling. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, one of the biggest tips that I have, uh, if you're if you're ready to clean up, make sure your grill cools down. Uh, you don't want to be handling hot cast iron. Um, you know, this stuff stays hot. Um, and it's super, super awesome in that regard. Um, but then, um, basically, um, you know, it's got an ash uh, drawer in the bottom in the draft system. So uh, it collects that ash. You can dump it out into an appropriate place. You're in Texas. I know you got fire pits left and right. Um, I, I like to go. You just talked about the stadium. I've got a little metal trash can that I go tailgating with, and I t dump all my coals into that little metal trash can. Um, but just making sure you're putting it in an appropriate place. Um, and then, you know, you're just going to wash it with uh, hot water and, uh, and a nylon brush, stiff bristled brush, um, and, uh, and, you know, wipe it with oil. Treat it just like you would your cast iron skillet. And, uh, you know, it'll be playing the hits for you again and again. Chef Chris, online real quick, where do they go and find out more about this great grill and you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can follow us uh, or you can go to lodgecastiron.com. We've got tips and tricks, recipes, um, you know, anything you ever wanted to know about cast iron, this grill specifically, and so much more. We also uh, are on all the social channels. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. We're on all of it. So, uh, you know, we've got awesome content pumping in there all the time uh, that'll, that'll keep you inspired. And, uh, and we've got awesome people who answer questions about cast iron day in and day out. I think following you, Chef Chris, we're all going to be grill masters like you want us to be. Thanks for stopping by the Belder BB Show. I got a great lesson, and hopefully my audience did too. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. I host the Belder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.